got a rat here. Yeah. Is it alive? No, it's not alive. <gasps> not alive. So when I when I was a kid, when I was when I was eight years old, I used to take my pet snake to science class, and we'd give it a, a mouse, a live mouse, in class, and, and watch it eat. And it was pretty cool. It was, it was definitely fun. I asked Miss Sarah if we could do that here today. So that we don't have a live one. I don't feed live anymore because it's just a mess, and the rat can bite the snake. And here's the thing, though, okay? When I, when I did that when I was a kid, bringing that snake to school, I, I, so first of all, I should say, I watched that snake eat a, my, a mouse every week for a good amount of life. And it always just grabbed it, wrapped it, and was, was good about it, and just made it look like it was born to do it, which they are. But the first time I brought that snake to a classroom, that snake missed that mouse like four or five times. Kept striking, and there was a bunch of people, kids around just like we are right now. So they get a little bit of stage fright sometimes. So it's possible that I'm gonna bring the snake out and try to give it a rat, and he and she's gonna say she's gonna just be all scared because there's a bunch of eyes and kids around. So we're gonna see how it goes. But the cool thing is we're not gonna put her inside a cage. We're just gonna let her go out on the table here. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, what wait, she might get stage fright. She might be too afraid because there's so many eyes and bodies that she's not in her usual Plus enclosure. But yes, there's little rats just frozen. And I thought it out. It's not. It's not currently frozen. But oh, remember, you can't, remember, you guys say you can't get out of your seat, okay? Because 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 if you scare the snake, there's no way she's gonna want to eat. You know what I'm saying? So if you, if you guys get out of your seat, because remember what I said about the heat signature and the way the snakes can kind of see the warm body. So if this snake sees a bunch of people moving around and moving towards her, she's not gonna want to eat. She's gonna want to run away because they don't if they don't feel safe. They're not going to want to eat because once they start to eat, they become vulnerable to other things attacking them. So if people are moving around a bunch, she'll probably just try to run away. Even being out here in the light on this bright table might be too much for her. But if anybody's moving around, definitely she'll be too scared. And she'll just try to run away and we won't get to see her eat the rat. So the more calm and quiet and still you guys are, the better chance we'll have of seeing her actually eat this, this rat. And we'll see how it goes. Do some of your animals eat crickets? Um... Yeah, the, the frogs will eat crickets, and uh, the, the leopard geckos will eat crickets. I usually give them mealworms, um, but yeah, they would eat crickets. I don't have any bearded dragons. So, okay, so one of the superpowers this snake, well, all snakes have is, can you imagine if you ha had to eat something, and like, instead of having a, a chicken wing or bone or thigh, and you just, and you, you know, you eat a drumstick or chicken, and you just bite a piece off and chew it and swallow it, bite a piece off. Can you imagine if you had to take that whole chicken alive with feathers in its beak and just swallow the whole thing whole and just just swallow it all down without chewing it at all just without biting a piece off and just swallowing it whole Can you imagine that would be like you wouldn't be able, you wouldn't be able to breathe right you choke and you die basically you tried to shove a whole chicken down your throat but that's how snakes eat they eat it with all the fur all the bones everything and they have a little uh, it's called their glottis there's a little tube that comes extends off their trachea and comes out under their tongue so they can actually they have a little breathing tube that kind of sticks out under their tongue they can still breathe while they have something down their throat oh, well, the snake. yeah the snakes do so as soon as she spots that as soon as she spots that rat with her tongue hopefully i didn't make a trail for her that's a giant snake. i'm gonna try not to touch her because of me touching her would be distracting Alright, this is gonna, like I said, this is gonna be a little, it's a little experiment to see if this will even work. That little, that little like rat or mouse, whatever it is. And this is why I brought this box right here. You guys were asking earlier about this box, because I'm gonna let her crawl inside that, and then she's gonna feel a little more secure, because right now she's kind of looking for a spot to hide. That's why she's kind of running around the table. Even though there was a rat right there, and she probably could smell it, she was more concerned about getting to a spot where she's gonna feel safe. And now that she has that, I think that we should be able to get her to eat this rat. Unless she's still not feeling safe, in which case she won't. But she's flicking her tongue at you. see your tongue coming out right there right now? You come a little closer, sis. She's flicking her tongue out. She should be picking up the fact that there is a rat here to eat. I can't see. And, yeah, can you see now? You can, you can stand up. If you stay right there, you see, you stand up. So you can, but there's, she's flicking her tongue out. And it might, it might take a second. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let her crawl all the way the rest of the way in, and then then she'll poke her poke her little head out, and hopefully we'll be able to see her 
come out and grab this, and you guys will get to watch her eat. How does her entire body feel? Yeah, it's a good, so snakes are snakes are tricky like that. Like she looks like a big old snake, right? But she fits in that little box. Snakes are really good at that. So. Yeah, you can tell me something. The, the rat look, or mouse, it looks like a little calico critter pet. <laughs> <laughs> it, it could be somebody's pet at one point. So, this is, if we're patient, it might might take a minute, but she's gonna she's it spinning looks, around in there right now, and then she'll it eventually. Looks like a cute little, little like baby. I'm just just gonna stick the head in there, and then we'll see. We'll let's watch this rat, and then we'll know once she decides to start eating because she'll she'll probably pull it if in it's a little moving, bit. That means she's eating. Right. So once once that little rat starts moving, I'll know we'll know that she bit it and then she's starting to eat it. And they, this snake actually eats pretty fast. They don't do a slow little constriction or anything like that. They just grab it and they start eating. So as soon as she does that, then I can lift it up and she'll she'll eat. She might try to back off the table or something like that, but I'm hoping that this will work. And that's, again, why I brought this box so that she can go and feel secure, even though we're here in the open room and table and not in her little enclosure. So this is just gonna be a a waiting game now. Does anybody have any questions while we're waiting to see if the snake's gonna eat? What's up? Um, can snakes um, lose their scales and would that like harm them? Um, so snakes can lose their scales, like they could have it break off and yeah, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be good uh, for the snake, it would hurt them. But they do shed their skin all in one piece, which is just the very top layer of their scales. But yeah, if, if a snake lost its scales, it'd be because something hurt it or poked it or scratched it or scraped it. And it would hurt it, but it would be able to grow them back slowly. Okay, I want to tell you a really cool thing. So let's, let's get his question first. He's got his hand up. Um, how much reptiles do I have? Um, how many reptiles do I have? I've got about, I've got mostly snakes. No, how and, much are we going to see? Oh, how many are you going to see? Yeah. Well, so far we've seen, how many think we've seen so far? Like six? Six, eight? Seven? Something, something like that. So. We've got a couple more, depending on how long this girl takes to either grab this rat or not. Um, I was, I was kind of hoping that she would just grab it right off the bat when I put it in front of her face, but she, like I said, she was too concerned about getting to a safe spot. She's not moving. Maybe the, how do you know she's um, she's, this, this species of snake is usually ready to eat just about any time. Um, this, it's a rare occasion that I put something into her enclosure and she doesn't just gobble it up. They're, she, they're very active, this species of snake, so they're, they eat a lot more often than a lot of the other like pythons and boa species that I have. So, but, I mean, I think she's just happy right now being in a little spot where she's <coughs> safe. I think there's already been so much activity, you know, being held and, and, and stuff being out away from her enclosure. Yeah, I think she's, I think she's glad to be in her little hidey hole. And, and she's not really moving. I'll, I'll, what I could do is, uh, do you guys have warm water here? Yeah. Yeah? If you got like a little thing of, of warm water, like I could, bowl? yeah, like a bowl and just fill it up with a little bit of warm water. I can I put the rat in there a little bit and get it warm so its body temperature seems to go up on it and then she'll maybe have a stronger response to it. But yeah, right now she's not even, she's not even moving at all. She's just kind of in there protecting her head, knowing that there's a lot of stuff happening out here that she doesn't necessarily want to be part of. And so she's pretty happy just sitting in her hole. So I think what I'll try is once we have that stuff warmed up, I'll warm up the rodent a little bit and then we'll see. Do you want it like warm or really hot? Like um, hot, yeah, hot. Hot? Yeah. Like really hot. Really hot. How, how much of their hot. tail can a snake lose before they die if they were like squished or something? Oh, snakes are, snakes are actually really resilient. So they can, they can go through a lot. There's a... There's a um, herpetology professor here at Cal Poly that actually rescued a, cal a king snake that had been run over on the road and its heart was out of its body. And she gently like tucked the heart back into the chest cavity, sewed it up, and the snake lived. Wow. So they're, they're very resilient. They can, they can deal with life. If you ran over a snake's tail, you know, it wouldn't be good. It'd have a scar there probably if like, they lost their tail, but they would be able to live a long, full life without that tail. Definitely. So what is it in the tail? Just fat? In the snake's tail? No, not much, too much fat. It's not, no organs in the tail. No, no. Just, yeah. Um, I mean, some snakes definitely use their tail for climbing more than others. Mm -hmm. But a snake like this is more of a ground-dwelling species. 
if he chopped off his tail, it would be, have a slight disadvantage in locomotion stuff. And you know, and they, these guys like to shake their tail in the leaves for to warn predators. But it would live a long, full life without his tail. All right, here you go. All right, so we got a warm bowl of water. We'll see if we can warm this up a little bit, and if that will entice her a little bit. Although. So she's not moving at all. So she's just kind of hiding out in there. So be real patient again. We might sit here for, here's the thing about snakes. They don't need to move. And that's, that's true of them more than it is for us. Like I could probably sit in, you guys have done a great job sitting in the chairs, by the way. I'm probably be done at this point and want to get up and move around. Snake, snakes sit here all day. Anytime you have like a, let's see who moves first contest with a snake, you lose every time. Because the snake will just sit there for, an unreasonable amount of time not moving, just staring at you without blinking because they don't have eyelids, right? And so they, you lose the staring contest too. You lose, the, you lose the moving first contest and the staring contest. I'm gonna lift it up. We'll see if she takes it. If she doesn't, then it's just because she's too shy and she's not feeling safe enough to eat this rodent in front of us. Well, otherwise, we'll sit here staring at this box for the entire rest of the day and we'll never see her again. Or longer. Or longer, yeah, or, or tomorrow. So I'm just gonna lift it up gently and see if we can get her to... Look, it's warm now. I warmed it up for you. It's not cold pizza anymore. Come on, come on, that's what you wanna eat. You wanna eat that? She's like, I don't think I wanna eat it unless I have a stage. Oh, oh, we're getting somewhere, maybe, maybe not. See, she's very, this is a very intelligent species of snake, so she's paying attention to everything that's around her especially all of you guys. Even though you guys are doing a really good job of keeping perfectly still, she still knows you guys are out there. So she's flicking her tongue right on the nose of this rodent. And right now I think she's trying to decide if it's worth it to try and eat this rat with all of these big potential predators sitting around her. You know what I mean? She's, she sees all you guys and she's like, um, I could eat that rat or I could die as soon as I'm trying to eat it and I'm vulnerable and she's not able to run away fast because she has a rat in her mouth. So right right now she's making a tough decision. Of, uh, do I want, is it worth it to try and eat this rat? Or does it make more sense to not eat it so that I can escape really quickly in case one of these crazy kid animals comes over and tries to eat me instead? That's basically, like if I had to guess at what she was thinking right now, that's that's what I would, would guess. What about the snake for dinner? Um, snakes for dinner? Could you snake chicken? Yeah, snake, snakes are, so. <laughs> She's so close, she's very interested. I mean, she's flicking her tongue at it, but she's also, see how she's moving and darting around a bit? She's too scared, I think. She's not gonna wanna, not gonna wanna eat it. Um, she's thinking the handle. Okay, so I, I'm sorry, but I don't think she's gonna eat it. Will you put um, the rat in the cage with her? Yeah, I could, I can do that. I could stick her back into her little carrying enclosure and, um, see if she decides to try and eat it then. And in that case, we could kind of see her do it through the thing, but this is wild. She's, she's definitely feeling like too, um, you know, too exposed. Cause I've even rubbed my hand on a rat and got her to think, take my hand, but that was when I was sitting by myself with her in the snake room, which is warmer than it is here. And there's not a whole bunch of eyes on her watching like this. Oh, what if you... Let the rat bleed. Um, no, she knows it's a rat. Her 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 tongue is quite sensitive. She's yeah. definitely aware that it's a it's a rat, but it's just at least the bull didn't fall. Um, yeah, it's just too too much uh, too many bodies in the room. I think she's just not feeling comfortable enough to eat it. Sits down. 